Welcome to the next episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. I'm Shobit Bhutani, Product Marketing Manager at VMware, responsible for uh, vSphere, AIML, and DPUs. Uh, in this series, we bring VMware and partner experts to discuss about VMware's vSphere and associated cloud products. These fabulous leaders will share their backgrounds, industry trends, general tips for you know, the IT audience that's listening in. In today's uh, episode, I'm thrilled to talk to Rashmi Hegde. Uh, she's the product manager at VMware. She's a young and rising star uh, at VMware. She's an expert on building SaaS solutions for both cloud as well as on-premises. I'm really excited to talk to Rashmi. She's one of the first PMs I've interviewed. interviewed. Um, so we're going to talk about VMware's Cloud Console. It's a central tool inside vSphere Plus, our um, you know, very recent and our most signature offering for vSphere, our subscription place offering, vSphere Plus. Welcome, Rashmi. Thanks a lot, Shovit. So glad to be here. Fantastic. So really excited, uh, Rashmi, to talk to you today. Um, <clears throat> can you share a little bit about your background, what you're doing at VMware, and most importantly, what's your favorite beverage? Mine is coffee. Absolutely. I've got a cup of coffee here as well. Um, so I have been, um, you know, with VMware for about two years. I've been a product manager within the vSphere team, uh, you know, have pretty much been working um, on building unified services for both our cloud and on-premises customers. Um, and, you know, have focused a little bit on the data layer as well um, from an analytics and a customer solutioning point of view for vSphere. Right. Um, prior to this, I was um, at a financial firm working, um, you know, on setting up platform as a service uh, for our inter internal infrastructure. Um, so that's about me. Fantastic. So let's kick this off. Right. Um, why cloud connectivity is so important these days? Like, you know, when we talk to customers a lot, we hear about the hybrid model, you know, different marketing surveys, et cetera, go from anywhere from 75 to like 85 percent you know, depending on size of enterprise, et cetera. Um, why, uh, you know, very, customers are trying to do this hybrid cloud model, so to speak. Um, what, which is really the key reason for why we launched vSphere Plus as well. One obviously is a subscription offering. The other piece is it's a cloud connected model of vSphere, right? Um, wanted to hear from you, Rashmi, because you're frequently talking to customers. What's the feedback for vSphere Plus? Why is it so interesting to customers? Um, sure. Um, so you're totally right. Hybrid cloud, hybrid model is the norm right now. And customers really want to ben uh, benefit from both the cloud and on-premises. And if we look at data, we've got customers saying that, um, you know, cloud usage, their cloud usage will double in just a couple of years, while at the same time, their on-premises usage will increase as well. Um, and, and, you know, taking a step back, there are primarily a couple of reasons for this, right? To begin with, why do customers want to use, um, you know, on-premises? Uh, mostly the reason centers around data, making sure they have, you know, their data private, secure, um, adhering to their government or organizational standards. Uh, while at the same time, you know, because of data gravity, their apps also center ar around this data to make sure uh, their latency is low, their performance is high. Um, and that's primarily the reason why, you know, customers have their, you know, on-premises and environment set up. While at the same time, customers are looking at cloud because it's so much easier to set up. Uh, you know, it helps with scaling, it helps with maintenance, um, it, you know, makes things a lot more reliable. It's also easy for, uh, you know, our customers to have their developers, uh, you know, develop apps much faster, much easier, right? Um, and that's where cloud essentially comes in. Now, when customers want to leverage both, the most primitive form of um, having a hybrid model is to have some applications, more important applications on premises and move some more, uh, you know, modern workloads into cloud. Um, and that includes, you know, lift and shift, uh, re-architecturing their applications uh, to migrate to cloud. Uh, this is, of course, time consuming. Uh, this is also complex. Uh, but we have also heard from customers that from a cost perspective, it's much harder to predict cost on cloud. And due to this, we have had customers who have moved to cloud, who have realized that this isn't cost effective for their use case. And then, you know, they have migrated, reverse migrated back on premises. And this is essentially where vSphere Plus comes in, uh, because we want to provide such a, you know, cloud beneficial model. The ability to use cloud services 
to our on-premises customers. Uh, we give them the ability to have a single pane of glass. We give them the opportunity to manage their entire on-prem infrastructure through a single management plane um, while using a couple of you know, integrated uh, SaaS solutions as well through vSphere Plus while continuing to keep their uh, data completely on-premises. Fantastic. So it makes a lot of sense, right? Like latency issues, compliance issues, the the privacy issues, et cetera. They want to keep stuff on premises and then be able to pull services in the cloud so they get scalability and all the other benefits makes a lot of sense. So, so we talked a little bit about, you know, the cloud connected model and, you know, why it's getting so, in, these for plus is so interesting there. Can you think about workloads, use cases, et cetera, where this model fits really well? Definitely. So I want to highlight three main use cases today uh, where customers are primarily, you know, uh, loving to use vSphere Plus. Um, you know, as it's already live, we've got quite a few customers online and we've got quite a bit of feedback from them as well. Um, so first of all is the hybrid model that we already spoke about. Customers that have on premises and that have got, uh, let's say, you know, cloud solutions, VMC on AWS or any other, you know, VMware cloud solutions can continue to stay and manage their on-premises environment while also you know expand on demand to you know vmware cloud on aws or any other cloud solutions within vmware um, through a single management plane right so that's number one and number two is that for our on-premises customers who have got very big infrastructure who have got um, you know very complex environment uh, with multiple v centers across geographies we provide a single pane of glass uh, which not only is available for monitoring uh, but can also be available for management they can take actions on this environment through you know uh, we've got uh, solutions like capacity management powered by we realize operations we've got uh, workload protection turned on by uh, vmware cloud disaster recovery and we've got assisted life cycle management for we centers uh, which essentially means that customers don't have to worry about um, lcm anymore right so vmware helps with that um so that's number two and finally for customers looking at you know improving developer agility um, for their own um, you know, developers, they have the ability to use our Tanzu solutions and our ARIA automation solutions, which are bundled or you know, integrated together into vSphere Plus. So developers can just go ahead, you know, uh, VI admins can turn this on for their developers. Developers can you know, self-service uh, and stand up an entire Kubernetes uh, you know, containerization environment within uh, you know, their vSphere. Um, so that's essentially some of the use cases that we are looking at with vSphere Plus. Outstanding, right? So <clears throat> pretty, pretty good in-depth explanation there. Now, let's laser focus on what we're here to talk about, right? We talked about vSphere Plus, what it solves, the challenges, use cases, et cetera. Um, Cloud console inside vSphere Plus. Why is it so important? Um, and I think you've got a demo in mind here as well that you wanted to show. Can we talk, can you look at that as well while we're talking? Absolutely. Um, so to begin with, uh, you know, vSphere Plus a Cloud Console has got a bunch of SaaS solutions that customers can just start using out of the box the minute they connect to vSphere Plus, right? Um, now, we have also constantly got feedback from customers that, you know, hey, with all the VMware solutions that you have, we've got so many portals, so many, you know, disconnected pieces that are great to use separately, but I want to have a single workflow for all of these, right? And we right. kept that feedback in mind and we built a solution to make sure that we are not building new things, but we are utilizing the same solutions that customers already love and bringing them into the uh, same picture, right? So that's what I want to talk about as part of this uh, demo as well. Let me start sharing my screen. Great. All right. So before I go into what solutions we have, here is what you know, your infrastructure will look like with vSphere Plus. And that's what I was talking about uh, when I said that your workloads will continue to remain on-prem. All you'll do is connect through a proxy called the vCenter uh, Cloud Gateway to cloud. So even the cloud gateway will continue to remain on-premises and you'll just have to uh, open an outbound connection into VMware Cloud to start using these um, SaaS services. Now, moving into the SaaS services, um, first of all, you know, the first step in getting started with this is handing in your license keys and, you know, essentially moving to a subscription-based usage or a keyless entitlement, uh, which is available as part of vSphere Plus, where you don't have to, you know, 
continue to manage a bunch of license keys, but just one subscription, right? And the minute you enable this for your V centers, um, you get an out of box single pane of glass uh, where you can look at all your V centers and their summary from one single place. Um, and you can see, you know, what their current status looks like, you know, how, if it's connected, if it's working well, and then you'll also be able to look at the current events or the current issues coming out of those uh, V centers, right? Um, you'll be able to see, you, know, you'll, you'll, you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to troubleshoot where exactly the issue is. Um, should an alarm sound, you, you'll, you can directly go ahead and solve the issue because from a single picture, you can see which exactly are the top V centers that probably have an issue, right? Uh, which exactly are the top issues that you wanna handle? And you can just go ahead and directly figure out what is the problem that you want to um, address at this point as an admin, right? And that will end up saving a lot of time on, you know, um, an admin's day-to-day, -day, uh, you know, monitoring and troubleshooting um, activities, right? Um, and we also have a desired state configuration service where customers can create a template of the kind of uh, infrastructure they want to have, the kind of um, settings that they want to have within this infrastructure, and they will get to, uh, you know, then compare it with different V centers, do a compliance check, and figure out which V centers have drifted and which V centers are essentially, um, you know, within their uh, uh, purview, right? And then they can go ahead and, you know, figure out which V centers that they want to fix and bring into the exact same um, compliance. And you also have the ability to, you know, create uh, VMs from one single place. You get to, you know, bring it uh, across your infrastructure and create uh, VMs from one single workflow anywhere within your infrastructure. And you have, like I said, the ability to go ahead and, you know, enable, uh, you know, uh, services for your uh, developers for, through ARIA automation, through Tanzu services. Um, and it's all essentially part of uh, vSphere Plus. And I would love for you all to, because I know that I breeze through this uh, demo. I would love for you all to go ahead and try a free trial, um, you know, that's already available for vSphere Plus and try it firsthand and, you know, share us your feedback. Great. And then during, in the blog that's going to come out with this, the vlog, I'll make sure to include that link, right, for the audience. Fantastic. Wonderful. That brings us to the end of this uh, vlog. Thank you so very, very much. First of all, Rashmi, it was really great talking to you. Thanks a lot, Shobhat. Had a great time. Fantastic. So love the conversation. Always fun talking to young leaders. And uh, Rashmi is a great uh, and rising new star in uh, VMware. So we're really excited to have her. Uh, with this, we come to the end of this episode. If you like this one, join the next one. This is your host, Shobhat Bhutani, signing off. Have a fabulous day, evening, night, and week. Bye-bye till next time. Mm -hmm.